Welcome to this lecture covering how to identify an idea for a new, innovative product. New products arise from someone identifying a problem that can be solved in a better way. Can you define a way of solving this problem? Then you need to understand how the problem currently is being solved and how you intend to solve it in a better way. You need to establish if there is a demand from the market. In other words, are consumers and or companies willing to acquire the product or the solution? The best way to establish this is to understand the trends in the market. Trends are defined by market drivers being consumers and in The overall trends in the food sector are health, sustainability, convenience, local and authentic, life science and industry. If we have a look at health, consumers are asking for good nutrition. Many are focused on plenty of exercise and feeling good. This is due to an increase in obesity, amongst others. The free from tendency is, for example, free from sugar, glucose, lactose, additives, GMO and more. Consumers are becoming wiser and want to know what are they eating and where does it come from. We therefore also see a growing population of vegans and vegetarians, which in turn are an important target group to keep in Sustainability. The market for organic products has been growing over a longer period of time, mainly due to health considerations. Furthermore, it is expected that your product can achieve a clean label, in other words, free from GMO, pesticides and more, which is challenging the traditional industry and leaving room for new and innovative solutions and companies. Products and solutions that enable packaging that lives up to recycling and is supported by legislation is also putting demand on the existing food producers and thereby creates new opportunities. Most families today have implemented one meat-free day a week, allowing lots of room for new products with plant-based alternatives. And last but not least, animal welfare is becoming a significant demand from consumers, which is why we see an increase in vegan production. Convenience. In a world where people are working more and more and families are stressed by many daily tasks, convenience products and solutions are becoming a demand from the market. Therefore, meal solutions are very popular. You see this in products such as washed potatoes, washed salads, washed veggies, and also in oven-ready meals. This combined with services that are delivered directly to the home, often subscription-based. The younger generation in particular ask for on-the-go products, such as protein-rich smoothies and fruit and chocolate bars. But we also see a demand for slow food products that are prepared, pre-prepared and in the higher price range. So, there's lots of opportunities for new innovative solutions. Authentic and local food products. Consumers are more focused on locally produced food products. This is due to a need to know where your products come from and where they were locally produced and this is associated with freshness and more trustworthy, as well as knowing the story behind the product. Life science, research and technology. Research-based products such as new ingredients, in other words, protein, plant-based, insects and more, creates new features and functionality for food products. This could also be new ways of analysing and diagnostics of ingredients, shelf life, date of production and more. This can also be methods of incorporating side streams and or byproducts into traditional food products, thereby eliminating food waste. This could also be spent grains from brewing, which has a high protein level. We also see research being done in incorporating so-called novel foods, such as protein from grass into food products. This is only a few examples. The above are usually associated with intellectual property rights and dependent on food regulatory issues or novel foods authorization. For this area and all of the above, it is important to keep in mind the rule for health claims. You have to be careful with how you describe the effect of your product or your solution. You can find guidelines on EFSA's homepage. Industry trend. Industry is asking for products that can increase efficiency in production and supply chains. This is to achieve lower production costs and become more profitable and more competitive. 
We see solutions which clean equipment surfaces, reducing downtime, and diagnostics which reduce errors in production, all which affect profits in a positive direction. Digitalization, such as platforms bringing the sector together and enabling new contacts and visibility as a marketing tool. Foods close to or beyond use by date platforms, enabling consumers and retail to buy and sell products which are not saleable in the store, and many more. To conclude, I wish to emphasize how important it is to research and understand your market and what consumers and industry are demanding. When understanding your market, you will also be able to identify competitors. Who else is solving the problem and how are they doing this? Can you compete with them? Is it a market where there is room for more players? And most importantly, who is your customer? Is, the, is it a consumer or is it an industry player? Who are you creating value for and how much? In other words, is it a cost saving, a competitive advantage or something else?